Alright, so we're going to start with our opening statements. And um, Mr. Crawford, I'm going to start with you. Good evening, I'm Robert Crawford. Uh, if I'm elected, I'm going to work toward the uh, reconstruction and repair of our broken sewer shed. I'd like to shorten the time period that the board has adopted. The board has adopted a 15-year capital improvement uh, period. I'd like to review that and shorten it to the shortest time, which is to get the work done and then adjust the finances accordingly. I'd also like to see a, a detailed capital improvement plan adopted with the construction schedule. Uh, one of the biggest projects in our budget for 2013 will be the Lancaster Storm Sewer Project. That wasn't part of the capital improvement plan. That's something that came up for the first time in the November 2012 budget hearings. It's work that badly needs to be done, don't misunderstand me, but we need a comprehensive plan and schedule, not something ad hoc. If I'm elected, I'm going to start attending the meetings which the village engineer has with the consulting engineers and sit in the corner as my time allows and listen. And I'll also work at improving communication uh, from the village manager, the village president, our village attorney uh, to the villagers. Thank you. All right, thank you. Carl? Hi, good evening. My name is Carl Fuda, and I don't need a microphone. Even those who wave back there, you can hear me right. That's 25 years of coaching. I'd like to start out by thanking the Patch and the Women's Club for hosting this event. Uh, I was going to go into some detail on my background, but given the time constraints we have, I'll refer you to the literature that I brought today. It provides a summary of my background and qualifications. I'm running for trustee because I think I can help get things done and be part of the solution to the big problems that we face. Whether it's our sewers and infrastructure, whether it's our safety, or whether it's the Silver Spring Development District. Uh, I've worked with many of our village and school district officials over the past 30 years, and together we've already accomplished some great things. You don't have to look any further than Lubar Field to see some of the fruits of our labor there. Lastly, uh, I'm appreciative of the forum, but I do understand the limitations that uh, a venue like this has. So, uh, to that end, I'll remain here as long as anybody wants after the event, either here or Pandles, by the way, either one works for me, and I'll answer any of your follow-up questions. And if you want, uh, give me a call. I've already fielded a couple dozen calls. Uh, drop me an email. I'll be happy to give you a clear, candid answer on anything you're interested in. So, thanks again, and enjoy the forum. All right, thank you very, thank you very much. Kevin? Hi, I'm Kevin McMahon. I think I do need a microphone. Thank you. A few years of coaching experience, but not as much as Carl, yeah. Um, I'm a, about a 17-year uh, resident of the Bay. I've actually been a stay-at-home parent for the last eight and a half years. Uh, and I think from that vantage point, I think I have a different, maybe a different perspective that somebody else might have and might bring to the board. I mean, I, I live the Bay all day, every day. I know when things happen. I see things uh, uh, happening. I use all the uh, businesses. I use three of the different schools with my kids. Um, and I am concerned about, not concerned, but I just want to, I guess I want to have a say and have a hand in bringing the village a little more to the future, especially with the, the sewer issue that we have. And, and living right near Silver Spring, it's a, an area I would really like to see uh, the development continue and grow. Because uh, I really want to see Wipers Bay continue to be a place, to, a great place to live, work, um, and to prosper as well. So. Again, that's um, pretty much all I have to say for now, but I'll, again, I'll answer any questions anybody has here or afterwards as well. Um, so again, thanks for hosting the, this forum, it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks. Thank you. I don't need a microphone either. Uh, my name's Jay Miller, I'm the incumbent. Uh, I've served on the board for four years now, and um, I have really enjoyed the challenge and, and the satisfaction in trying to develop solutions to some of the difficult problems we've had uh, over the last few years. Um, one thing that I think is important that I can say uh, from my four years of having served uh, is that in addition to my uh, background before serving, I have come to understand well, I believe, the finances of the village, the infrastructure of the village, uh, the budget of the village, and uh, the overall operations. 
And I would submit to you, as you think about who to vote for, um, that's very important because we are embarking on a sewer project that is estimated to cost over $100 million over 15 years. Now, I, I shouldn't say that. That includes, that's the capital improvement plan, a portion of which, a substantial portion of which includes the sewers. So there's a lot of uh, information that has to be absorbed. We need to make the right decisions as to how to proceed and to balance the interest of everybody in this community. And having that sort of knowledge and insight, I think, is helpful as we proceed forward. And the first couple of years in, in implementing the sewer project are critical, as is the case with the revitalization of Silver Spring, which is, uh, we're thinking, is developing uh, in a very hopeful way with the Mandel Apartments and some new restaurants moving in here. So uh, with that background, uh, I, uh, I commend that to you, and I have, I have the same dedication and determination I had when I started four years ago. Thank you. Right, thank you very much. Uh, and finally, uh, Ken Lartani. Uh, hi, my, my name is Ken Lartani, and I'm uh, a freelance journalist and editor. I work from home here in Washington State. I've lived here uh, for all, just around 25 years. I have four children. Two daughters who went to the Whitefish Bay School District and graduated Whitefish Bay High School and are now on their own out in the working world. And I have a sixth grade daughter at the middle school and a fourth grader at the Richards Elementary. Um, for the last 13 years, I've lived on Santa Monica Boulevard. I've also lived on North Kent. Also lived on Sheffield between Hampton and Cahill Park. So I'm unfortunately a little bit too familiar with uh, some of the flooding issues. Um, my grandparents lived here for 50 years, and uh, I, mean, I used to come to my grandma's house and mow her lawn and take her to Sunday's to go grocery shopping, and uh, always thought what a, what a cool place White Fish Bay was. I wanted to live here someday, and I feel real blessed to have been able to do that for the last 25 years. Um, in fact, I, I've lived in the house for eight years on Kent Avenue. My father grew up here, too, uh, graduated from White Fish Bay High School. And um, I guess all of this is a very long way of saying that uh, I, I have deep roots in this community and I care deeply about preserving all the things that are really great. And that's the main reason I'm running for the building board. Thank you. All right, great. Thank you very much.